Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a Disney inspired nail set. I did end up getting these from Montage Nail Supply. So you guys will be able to see some of their products in my video. If you guys do need a discount code, I do have a discount for Lorena10. Make sure to check them out. They have a lot of different stuff. Um, but for these, you would definitely have to go in store. But basically they, they're very iridescent. They shift to a blue and a pink. Um, so it's kind of like a, an opal white and kind of like how this is as well. So I'm hoping that maybe I can mix these or incorporate these decals in there somehow. Um, these are from my shop, Opulence Nail Co. And I think I'm going to be using these stars. And these are the little mylar things that I do want to include in it. I don't know which route that I'm going to be doing so stay tuned for that you guys. If you guys are new here my name is Lorena Aguirre and I post here on YouTube every Monday and Saturday so join the fam. Let's see what we could recreate and yeah I do a lot of tutorials and whatnot so make sure to join just because we do a lot of fun things on my channel. Right, guys I'm gonna go ahead and take off this old set from my last video. If you guys haven't seen that yet go ahead and check that out and I'm going to go ahead and prep it and get it ready for the new set. Alright you guys, first off we are going to be using these effortless tapered square tips and I'm just going to go ahead and get the glue. This is montage glue as well and I'm just going to go ahead and glue them down. guys I didn't show you guys the clip right away of what colors that I'm going to be using so I'll show you guys in just a second but you're just gonna want to paint this on and I'm not getting it on the natural nail whatsoever and this one is called I need it and these are both from Tracy's nail number 126 and then this one's 148 bandit and they are both super, super pretty colors. I love her collection. Um, I know some people, they've been having mixed reviews on it. But honestly, I feel like if you use it correctly, you will achieve great results. So just make sure that if you guys are using it, just follow the instructions. And I feel like if you guys are having problems with any type of product, make sure to follow the instructions and go to their website and see kind of like how to use that product. Because a lot of times... You might feel like it's the product when it's just in reality how you are using it and if, of course if you don't want to use it that way then i mean by all means um you guys could try out something else and see if you like it from there on out you know all right you guys and i'm gonna go ahead and do this to all the other nails i thought i was gonna do this one a solid color and just do it that pink but i actually had changed my mind and I wanted to do ombre all of them just because I thought it looked so beautiful. And you want to get up and up close with it and it just helps and it blends it itself. And that little tag you see at the end, once I start filing and whatnot, it's going to go away. So I'm not too, too worried about it. Now I have my little swatch stick. I compared it to the colors and made sure that it was going to look good with the colors that I had chose just because it would be the worst thing to end up actually putting it on there and you hate the color. So I went ahead and compared it. Swatch sticks, honestly, I highly, highly, highly recommend them, especially for you and your clients so you guys could kind of get a visual of what things are going to look like. And then I am just going to be blending this down. When doing this, I highly recommend 
working with small beads of acrylic just because you guys could always 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 go back and add more to the places that you feel like you might need it um but if you add too much you would end up covering up the whole ombre and you guys really don't want to do that just because it's not really that great of a look so highly recommend doing this you guys could even do the end cap right here um but i like to do my end cap after especially with this just because i felt like i wanted to add more to it and that's what you guys see me doing here this paper i thought it was going to reflect a lot better in the sunlight than what it did so i think maybe trying out a different glitter the next time i would highly recommend or something that's more of an iridescent like thing because i felt like after i encapsulated it some pieces they still stood purple and beautiful but then this one it kind of ended up yellowing so this glitter i love this is also from montage no supply i'm not sure if they still have this exact one because this one was actually an oops one that they had made the whole shelf of glitter had fallen and that's how they came up with this color because all of it fell and they were able to salvage the little bit that they did and they put it in jars and they sold it um i forgot what they called it but it was something super cute and i thought it was <laughs> such a great idea So I believe in this pot of glitter there is over 15 different glitters inside of this glitter so recreating it might be a little bit hard but honestly it's such a beautiful glitter. If you guys can make sure to tag me on Instagram just because I love seeing um, people mix their glitters. I don't know what it is. Something about it is just so satisfying. Alright you guys and then for this nail definitely recommend capping the nail but since right now um i am just going in with my mickey ears i'm just scattering them all over right here you guys could do more or less it's just totally up to you and i wanted that the tip of the nail to kind of stay more on that clear side so it's kind of like ombre down um i thought that would be super cute let me know what you guys think of my color my color choices just because I thought they came out so cute. would have to say with encapsulation is definitely play around especially if you guys are new to it i highly recommend just trying out new things honestly this i kind of did on a whim just because i wanted to have encapsulated nails and have it like more of an iridescent look just because i was trying to look on pinterest like to get inspo something that maybe i could recreate and while i was on there i feel like you don't really see too much encapsulated stuff so i was like you know what like let me do an encapsulated mickey set and basically show you guys how to do it um and kind of like my take on it but i am kind of like freestyling up doing these nails um and kind of working and seeing like what i like what needs more what needs less like and just kind of playing around with it um i feel like sometimes when designing it's hard to figure out exactly what you want on the nails just because it's i don't know with me at least i go back and forth a ton but i highly recommend playing around with it and seeing what you like now we're getting milk white from montage the stuff has this is such a buttery um milk white it stays in place you guys could see it's not going nowhere i love working with this milk white even their nudes, their nudes are really, really good about staying in place and not running all over the place, which I am so thankful for that. And the colors of their nudes is actually very beautiful as well.
guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cap in the glitter, making sure that everything is nice and covered, especially when you guys are working with the apex. You guys are really gonna wanna make sure that you have that encapsulated in there. After your guys' is nail is dry, you're gonna go ahead and file. I had to wait a second for mine to um, dry a little bit so I could start shaping. I like to flip my clients around like you see right here. This does not hurt them at all. And I just like to file away and basically see how they would see their fingers straight basically. That's what I'm trying to mimic and go from there. And the file that I'm using is an 80 grit file. I highly recommend 80 grit um, but make sure to dole down the sides, run it across another file, the edges of it just so you guys are not cutting your clients i can't stress that enough just because no one wants to be cut um but yeah i definitely 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 recommend an 80 grit file because you guys are able to take down products so fast especially if you guys are a beginner in nail tech you guys will find yourself putting more acrylic than what is needed all right you guys and then now i'm getting my mini buffer and i'm just gonna go ahead and go across all these nails and Making sure that they're nice and buffed, especially that clear one. You guys are really want to go in on that one being very, very thorough. Just because since it is clear, you want it to appear like glass. go ahead and top coat honestly I feel like if I didn't do the glitter in the other nails I would definitely do these matte <laughs> just because I am in love with matte I know some of my clients they don't like doing matte on such light nails just because they feel like it gets dingy but this is a hack for you and your clients if they do feel that way tell them to take an alcohol wipe to their nails and rub them down really good and it'll help take all those stains away you guys it might take some time of like having to rub it but honestly you guys that is the best way to make your nails look matte again i tell my clients that all the time but even though some i do feel like they come in and they still have like their nails still look dingy so i will try and do a video on that and post that on my youtube channel just so i could show you guys basically what you guys could do so your nails could stay nice and fresh looking all right guys and after curing for 30 seconds this is what they look like i did decide to add a little mickey stone at the end of the nails you guys could easily make these by doing a big one in the center and then just doing the little ears on the side like so and I feel like they came out super cute you guys keep watching me just because there is a picture that I had inserted in the picture you could actually see the real true colors of it and it looks so beautiful all right guys I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and as always I'll be back with more videos make sure to comment down below if there's any requests you'd like to see bye